Thank you for listening to this album. It means a lot to me. I am Yenny. I'm both a singer-songwriter, but also uh, a bit of a producer and also a concept producer for my whole visual image. And I am from the Faroe Islands. I think Frum has been developing a lot and still is and will never be like one sound. It will always be something that's changing. But I would say that it has a bit of natural voice folk sound mixed with modern electronic elements. Nature is constructed by nature. In chaos and cosmos, in cosmos and chaos. Somehow, you were born of the world and you were born into a world where structures and rules are already set. I think the music just was a private part of me for a long time. So where I went to when I was alone or with my closest friends or family, it was where I seeked healing or some kind of like something like that. But it wasn't until I moved to Copenhagen to study philosophy that I found out that there was more to it than just having it as a secondary thing. I wanted to do more. I felt there was something in me that could be released and I felt I had a lot to say, like I felt I had a lot to express. So I created from and I had a really clear vision from the beginning what I wanted. It has of course taken many years to like make it reality, but I've been re really passionate about making it more than music, making a lot of dimensions out of this artist. The voice is the easiest instrument to use because you have it with you wherever you go. In the Far Islands, uh, we have used our voice a lot to make music and to tell stories. It has been a lot of, like, a big part of who we are. We have this old tradition, uh, I don't know even the name in English, but it's called at Kvea. Also, I've always been very inspired by lullabies, which my parents and my grandparents have sung for me. So I think. Like though that was my first approach to music and what music can do to you and how you can tell a story through music and and how it can make you feel something. Same time happened. 
I am you, you are me. What was before? Before me, before you. So I have this memory from when I was young where I came on, up like into a room where I could sense everything. It was about like smell, touch and sound and everything. And that memory has stayed really strong with me also through like making this room. I want it to be like a full experience at some point. To express myself through music and other dimensions has been important for me from the start. Room can be a lot of things. It can be uh, music, it can be visuals, it can also be like a theatrical experience and it can be a physical element. And I want it to be an open project. I want it to also be like a playful place for me. I think that's the most important thing for Room is that. I do write my own music. I have not produced my music totally myself. I've used several producers to work with. But this is something I've tried to uh, learn more and more about myself because then I can really make my sound world as I want it. Room is not specifically music, but of course that's the main thing right now because that was my first way to create it. But I still feel like I could do even more. I could even do like a total isolated space where you can both feel and taste and smell and you know everything. That would be my end station somehow. Never have I had so many tears dried out. All my senses bowed, still the softest words was loud. I was caught up in the rain, it was the only thing to blame Running out of words, I was lost in the pain It was the only way, the only way, the only way, the only way And the rising morning sun has a certainty to come safe and sound To her I am bound Lots of expectations Forced to explorations To the corners of the mind Returning now of life It was the only way The only way 